Hey doing guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what I want to show you guys how to do is install an application called Credover. Credover is a cool tool and you know it's gonna show you the importance of not using the same password across the internet on your social media platforms, your email, and to check if your email has ever been pawned, pawned, and all that good stuff. So I want to show you how to do that in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. So, like I said, we're going to be installing Credover and testing it with, I uh, put some credentials in, in, in Vime. So, for example, test, uh, actually I missed the A, abc123 at gmail. This, I, I don't know if this is uh, made up, I just made it up. And um, actually, you know what, I'm going to put like, to, to really, um, Oops. I'm going to put at abc.com, okay? And then abc test for the password. All right, so that's the that's your credentials we'll use because you know, you don't want to go against someone that has real credentials unless you have permission. Do it against yourself, right? See if your your stuff is out there on the internet leaked. So, we're just going to be using these test credentials, actually abc. abc, okay? Let's minimize that for now. Now let's go ahead and um, I want to open up terminal. Actually, I'll clear this. I was testing some stuff. I was actually testing it. So let's do an ls. So we can go cd into YouTube. Okay, ls. I shouldn't have it in here. I deleted it. So I was just testing some stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the website. This is the GitHub repository where Credover is located. And I want to put this in the link in the in the description below so you can check it out and so if we go down you can see the readme you can see some screenshots and you know some some examples etc the way we use it this is the usage uh, the usage uh, syntax and the way we're going to be installing it and the requirements to have this run successfully okay and we can install this on windows windows um, uh, Linux and DACA. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to be installing this on Windows uh, Linux. So let's go ahead and get the get the clone. Okay, let's copy this. We can paste it here. Okay, so now that that folder should be be created. So if we do an ls, we can see it's right here, right? So we can just right click, copy, cd, copy, paste. I'm a pay, copy paste kind of guy. Ls. So now we can see the application is here, but there's another step that we have to do. We have to install it. Okay, so let's copy this, paste, and this is gonna go out, install the, 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 the packages, the requirements, et cetera, et cetera. So everything has been successfully installed. All right, so now we can do ls again. Let's go back just to make sure. And I wanna run this command and what this is going to do is going to run dash h is for help so it's going to show you the other arguments the addition the the optional arguments for this uh this command okay so now it says um email email username email slash username to check so what we're going to do is we're going to use this email right here that hopefully it's just made up so it's gonna be, let's copy this. What the hell is that copying? Copy, okay. So now let's go up and paste. And now this is the application. So our password is gonna be abc123test, okay? abc123test, boom. All right, so this will go out and test it against 15 websites. So we can copy, have I been pwned, pwned. So let's go to have, a, actually I have it here already. So the email is, so, so nothing was successful and that's expected because I didn't expect no one to have that email. And you know, like I said, I'm not gonna be putting real, real information out there. Actually it's this email. Um, 
that I don't have permission to do. So that's that's not cool. So we'll check this email, check if it's been pawned, and oh no, it's been pawned, blah, 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 which I don't really think that's that's true. I think that's false positive. And, but you can actually put your real email in here to see if and there's any data leaked from the dark web and if you haven't been pawned, okay, or pwned. I think that's how you say pwned. Um, my accents, so my accents all messed up. So yeah, so that's that's that, okay. So that's pretty much how we would run this tool. And um, this is the the tool of Crit Over. It pretty much um, it's an attacking tool to see if there was reused usually excuse me passwords like say for example you use the same password for your email for your facebook for your gmail for your twitter um let's just run it one more time uh just to see um well, i'm just gonna put anything so it goes to facebook twitter ask github linkedin um ebay wikipedia android sack of uh stack of and you know, et cetera, GitLab, Google, Yahoo, Mediafire. So, so it goes through all of these. So, say for example, you have a Twitter and an email. Excuse me, a Twitter and a Facebook, and you have the same exact password, and it has been compromised, and these have been on the Pawn website. Then obviously, you can use that and get into your your account, and then you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, so this is this is a this is a pretty cool tool to check on yourself see if you have your information like it says here checking email in the public leaks so make sure your stuff is not leaking and if it is make sure you change your passwords and etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is how you use the tool hopefully you enjoyed it you liked it and um, you learned something from it hopefully you can go side and side side by side and install it with me and um, we go from there and learn together. So I really appreciate you checking it out. Thank you so much for viewing. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, until next time, have a good have a good one.